Greetings, YouTubers. It is uh, Saturday, May 9th, 2020. Um, so today's video is going to be about uh, my most recent drawing. Um, as some of you may or, or may not know, I, I think I've included it in earlier videos, but um, I've started using pen and ink again. It was a, a medium that I used uh, back in high school. And, um, and back then you had uh, crow quills and they were you, know, you had to dip them in a inkwell and then you know you could use them to draw or write with and um, they were prone to having a blob of ink fall off of the pen which then left you with this interesting little nuance that you didn't draw that you now had to deal with because it was permanent ink it wouldn't come off so uh, a friend of mine good friend um, bought me a fountain pen um a platinum i, I forget the name <laughs> they're, they're pretty expensive and um and um and through uh channels that my friend is connected with i was able to get a significant discount on this pen it was still expensive but oh, i just love this pen it is it is so nice not to have to dip into a well. It's a fountain pen, and it, you know it's got a little cartridge inside that you fill up with ink, um, and I can just write until it's empty, and then I fill it back up and I can draw. Not write, but um, I guess I can write too. But I draw until it's empty, and then I can fill it back up and continue drawing. And I really like it. So I've done uh, now what is a, a series of um, of five drawings, and here's one that I have behind me, and I just. Um, I did, I did a couple of segments, you know, while I was uh, drawing, and um, I mean, it's kind of hard to see what it, what it is that I'm doing. It's kind of far back and everything, but it's basically just kind of a kind of a free form sort of approach. I, I never really know what's going to go on the paper until I start drawing, and it just kind of comes out over time. And each day, you know, I, I kind of look at it new and fresh and and um and i see shapes you know it's kind of like looking at clouds you ever look at clouds and you just, you know you see a bunny or a flower or something and um and that's kind of what's ha happened in my drawings there are some things that are deliberate stuff like the um, hibiscus and that kind of stuff but the faces there's probably i don't know hundreds of faces in here. I, I, I've lost count. I don't know how many there are, but I kept seeing faces in the lines that I would make. And so I would go in and try and, and pull that that face out. And as you look at it, you know, you start to see shapes in the drawings. And that's kind of what uh, I enjoy about the processes, is the ability to look back at this as if it were clouds and see the shapes come out of it. So aesthetically, I don't think they're all that compelling, but um, I'm having I'm having a good time drawing them. So, and remember, it's, all, it's always about me, right? So, um, so anyway, that's what this video is about. I've got a couple of segments that I've knit together. I'm going to take a couple of good photographs, I think, to try and give you an idea what this latest drawing looks like. And um, and I'm going to weave it into this video and post it, and hopefully, it's something that you guys like. So, anyway. Um, I'll give you an update here, maybe in a few more days. I've got wonderful bandwidth, five bars of 4G Verizon, where I'm camped. Um, and um, it's it's a really a great camp. It's a beautiful area, but, you know, weekend, as is typical of many of the places that I've camped in the last couple of years, is full of ATVers, off-highway vehicle users, that kind of thing. And, and it's, it kind of detracts from the overall peacefulness of the place. But the weeks are pretty, weekdays are pretty quiet. But and you know, I don't, I don't want to bag on on ATV years because you know I have a motorcycle. I've ridden motorcycles for most of my life. My son and I used to go out to the desert and ride all the time. And hi, son, how you doing? Been loving the bike, man. It's a lot to haul around, though. I got to tell you. Um, so you know, please don't misunderstand me and think that I'm anti uh, off highway vehicle. In fact, I love to to ride my motorcycle off-road and in the dirt and that kind of stuff. I used to like road riding, too. I had a, um, a Harley that I used to ride. Put 65,000 miles on that bike before I sold it. Um, but, man, I mean, just lately, people have kind of lost 
the, what's the word, politeness, I guess. And, you know, they drive back and forth in front of your camp, and, and I get it, it's fun. But, I don't know, some, at some point, especially these uh, more high performance uh, side by sides and that kind of stuff where they're they're really loud you can hear for miles guys I gotta tell you some it's gonna come back and bite you in the butt you need to put mufflers on those things and start respecting campsites and you know a lot of the folks slow way down just kind of crawl by when they go but uh, and that's great I appreciate that but you know they're gonna start taking those privileges away assuming we ever get back to civilization again I don't know when that's gonna happen but anyway kind of digressed yet again I do that in case you didn't know so anyway I'm going to post this um, here in a little bit and hopefully you, hopefully you guys will get something out of this drawing and um, love to hear your comments so, anyway love you guys bless you guys thanks sis for coming out and camp my sister came to camp with me she did she spent I don't know like four days out here camped with me it was awesome so anyway thanks sis for coming out I really enjoyed you and and uh, your husband's company and I hope we can do that again sometime soon. So, anyway, love you guys. Bless you guys. We'll see you later.